the affected beneficiaries had vowed not to leave the premises of the secretariat until their demands were met. Some of them carried along with them personal belongings to enable them spend days at the secretariat if need be. They lamented what they call unfair treatment meted out to them. According to them, they had fulfilled all requirements to merit the payment of their allowance. This is my updated uh, message. Everything is successful. They can say that I haven't updated. Absorption of duty. Everything is successful. They tested me message. It's on my phone. That thank you for successfully updated your expense. Expect payment. And now, nothing. Those who are not working, they are paying them. So we don't know the reason why we, those at post, they are not paying us. Our coordinators are away. They have signed. This is the signature of my coordinator and that of the institution that I'm working. Coordinator signatures are here. So why are you not paying us? The Nation Builders Corps is an initiative of the government to temporarily absorb unemployed graduates. A total of 100,000 graduates were unveiled in October last year under seven different models to be beneficiaries of the scheme with a budgeted monthly allowance of 700 Ghana CDs per personnel. For some of the beneficiaries, the delay in the payment of the allowance coupled with their resignation from previous employment engagements reinforced the decision to pick it at the National Secretariat of NAPCO. We've worked assiduously without penny out of this initiative. And in fact, the most painful aspect of it is that some of us, family men, family men and women, we've abdicated our previous engagement for NAPCO because yes. of the appetizing and caring stories and headlines circulating this initiative. Yes. But up till now, oh, we haven't been paid yes. for the past four months. But upon the arrival of the Secretariat, officials of the scheme engaged them to understand the problems hindering the payment of the allowances. After that encounter, most of them were calm. They have promised us and assured us fully that they are going to rectify the situation with Forestry Commission. Yeah, they knew that uh, the issue is from Forestry. Still, Forestry have our names. So they are going to rectify it within this week. And we have been fully assured that within this week we will get our allowances. Being fortunate to engage the officials. And with regard to my category, those of us having wrong e switch number. They've given us profound assurance that per the current details we updated it on the portal, they've validated all the list. And we should be expecting payment any moment from now till the end of this week. CEO of NAPCO, Dr. Ibrahim Manyas, says the problem is as a result of errors committed by some beneficiaries during their registration. Data that uh, people use to apply. Uh, and now uh, the master list that we had uh, for payment, there, there were a few discrepancies in the sense of uh, somebody says that they are called uh, a certain name and then uh, now you're trying to pay them and the ease which uh, the system throws up a different uh, identity. For a lot of those, because of the extent of the diligence of the GIPS system, the GIPS platform, they were able to send targeted messages to them to suggest to you that uh, you either belong to the category that had a payment problem related to a wrong USN, which is a wrong e-switch number, or you uh, had a duplicate uh, e-switch number, or in certain cases, actually, uh, there was a name mismatch. So you say that you are Anyas Ibrahim at the point of registration, and now you are Anyas Barham Imoru. Now, of course, it may well be the same person, right? Uh, but systems don't work like that. Uh, so that needs clarity. So the system will send you a message to try to authenticate that actually uh, you are the same person and then they can proceed uh, to pay. Some of the recruits raised concerns about the level of information flow from the secretariat to them. If we compare and contrast the info we are getting from the coordinators at the same time the secretary, I think sometimes there is a, a disparity, a clear disparity. So we will plead to the national secretariat to maintain that top-notch relationship between their subordinate. That is, that is our concern here. Dr. Ibrahim Anyas, however, disagreed with that position, saying structures had been put in place to ensure grievances of the beneficiaries are resolved. And up to this point, the secure portal that they have, that they alone, only they alone can see, whatever it, it tells them where they have been placed, it tells them their NAPCO credentials and details, 
And now the new thing is that they can even report payment problems that they have. Nobody needs to travel, even from Ladadi Kotopon, this district, uh, to come to the NAPCO headquarters because they live in the vicinity. You don't need to do that. Any issue that any NAPCO trainee they have, and if they've not been doing that, I will entreat them to do it the more than way. We the Secretariat is saying that uh, the problem that is facing the beneficiaries of NAPCO concerning their unpaid allowances is as a result of discrepancies that comes with their engagement forms, which they believe that it's basically from these beneficiaries. They're also saying that if these beneficiaries are able to correct all these discrepancies, their allowance will be paid them in due time. Reporting for City News, Hansen Ajeman.